Yoshi's. Okay. All yeah. right. Game number one between SG and Nintendo here in Losers Finals. I'm Res Lived. And this is 20%. Uh, so these guys, these guys have played each other a whole bunch. Not normally in losers final. Oh, unfortunate. SG looking at his control like, what happened? And he upbeat a little bit too late and just fell into that little yeah. blast zone. Fox drops just a little bit before he starts his up B. So you can get the startup of up B and then just die anyway. Whoa, that get up attack. I think Nintendo has historically gotten the better of this match, but oh yeah. Yeah, there's. I don't think SG has beaten Nintendo yet. Uh, I think he's maybe taken a match or two off of him, but I don't think I, I don't think I've seen him take a set. And that was actually really smart by Nintendo there. He sacrificed Nana to grab the edge with Popo and get that edge guard. He may lose this stock here. Good shine spike and the back air through the squall. If SG gets this edge guard, it will still be three stocks to two. So Nintendo still has a really nice advantage. SG, uh, SG I think also does a pretty. Oh, there, the there it is. The, the taunt anyway, <laughs> even though he did the side B. I think SG typically does a pretty good job of edge guarding uh, against what? Squall. Oh, that's was that not the coolest combo you've ever seen? <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, but Randall comes in the way and makes Nintendo drop that stock. And that just was like, it started really cool because it was like Popo with the fair and, and then Nana hit this jab. Oh man. <laughs> So it looks like Nintendo's still pretty happy, still a full stock advantage. Nana wow. just is taunting all day. And it looks like SG hasn't really been able to get in with any drill shines or anything like that to keep them separated. And that Ooh, wow. could just be it. That should be it. He can. Yeah. That'll be it. So a solid two stock for Nintendo as he takes game number one. I really enjoy the way Nintendo edge guards like. He does like neat things like putting Nana on the ledge and then covering other options. It's just it's really cool. Yeah, he's, he's he got a lot of option coverage on the yep. ledge there, and he saw at the end there he saw he grabbed the edge, saw SG go high, hit him with up air to combo into back air. They're right. gonna run it right on right back, back to Yoshi's. Oh, good desync. He actually gets through that with a shine. Good SDI. Yeah, you can actually kind of get through a fair amount of like Icy's multi hit moves if you SDI it well. But you end up taking a lot of percent. And here comes the Squall. Good shine, but they actually ended up rejoining. So they got an additional distance, and now yeah. Nintendo back in good stage position. Ooh, there's a grab. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Almost the start of something very cool there, but... He tried to make the Jiffy Cat, but instead just going to take that stock with a normal down smash. Ooh. He's got him separated, but he's missing the shine on the double jump from Nana. And it might be just something that SG is not very stock. familiar with. Oh wow, okay. Good good sweet spot from SG. And I don't know if you saw what Nintendo was trying to do there. He was using the slant of Yoshi's to make that blizzard stick a little bit yep, below yep. the ledge. Try to intercept Firefox. Oh! Oh wow. That double jump fair onto stage. That's not an option you see very often, but it was really good there. Yeah, it led into that up smash, and he's, he's keeping the stock even. Yeah, but not with that after that back air. And now he's got a grab. Is he going to... He tried to get the read on the tech. We haven't seen him wobble yet today. Yeah, I mean, as you said, I think he, he goes for that, that re-grab, and we've seen him drop that more often than not today. Ooh, that might be a stock. Randall's there, but oh, I think I think SG got a little like he, he half-hearted it. Second guessed himself. He was like, I'm either going to the ledge or going to Randall, and ended up going in the middle. And, and because he was drifting out, it gave Nintendo perfect kill the eye. Oh, Randall. Okay, Randall almost just really messed with SG again there. And that That'll was a great up smash to get rid of Nana, but it might Ooh. just be Could, too little see too that late. Smash the eye. That was like the straight up smash. Yeah, see that was nice. Good up smash, and that'll do it. Two stocks to one. SG needs a miracle to bring this back. Yeah, needs to get some of those quick shine kills in here, like we saw. Um, red. Yeah, red, yeah, red dude, just a little bit ago. I mean, he's been having oh, a hard time a getting shine kills. He might be able to get this edge guard. No, the squall hitbox I think it, sticking through. I think it might have been a little bit smarter to go after and get the nana kill there while while Popo was recovering. Oh my goodness, there's no damage on Nana, but he's able got to use yeah. all the damage on Popo to get Oh, oh my! Oh. What the? Dude, it's that guy in the back. Oh, he left. It was that guy in the background. It was background. that guy in that background, though. SG what? forgot that that character existed. 
And Tanjin's like, don't worry, I got this. Ate that F smash. <laughs> Nana's just like, I may be going out, but I'm taking you with me. I was about to say, like, all right, it's one stock. FC could do this, but no. <laughs> Nana's in charge now. Dude, oh you gotta goodness. you gotta you gotta watch for that kind of thing, man. So here we are, grand finals between Nintendo and Red. No Ice climbers spots from winners.